Hello again from the Round Vault Model Flying Club. Recently we had some very heavy storms with gusts over 120 km per hour. We only found out days afterwards that the roof of our boathouse, as you can see the boathouse there on our lake, had been blown off. The boat is waterproof, that's the, uh, what do you call it? Well then have a look at your Tony. You don't know how long they were in the rain. I know, I know. So we only found out about the boathouse <clears throat> two days earlier and one of our colleagues, Bevan, transferred the equipment, damaged and undamaged, back into the safety of our clubhouse 200 meters away. Whilst we were waiting for tools and people to arrive to repair the damage, some flying took place. Here our friend Olli, this is Hannibal. And Andy with his Yak 55. The model is powered by 100 CC twin cylinder petrol engine. But let's go down to our lake which we uh, built up after we purchased the swampy site and made good use of a lot of the water present at the site. So first investigation of the damaged uh, boathouse uh, showed that the roof came down in one piece too heavy to be lifted. We could also see that the walls of the boathouse were bent and uh, a lot of adjustment has to take place. We wait for tools. So let's have a look how Liam flies his Caro trainer with the smallest petrol engine I think it's only around 18 cc. As you can see, there's a vicious crosswind. Hey, well done. So the first half of the roof is uh, secured and now they're working already to secure and uh, straighten out the second half. Let's watch them. Right, everything is ready to join the two halves and fix them with screws. The front wall has to be pushed back on the right hand corner 
And the only way to do it properly is to lift the roof at that side again and there they do it. Well, we are getting to the end, uh, the last few fixing screws to be fitted and uh, all what's left is to reseal the roof at a later date. That was a job well done and uh, I think everybody is entitled to a smile or two. The last security fitting to assure the roof can't be easily lifted by the wind again. So that, just put that on and we do it. Just put it on and we do it. Well, the walker bees are taking the tools um, back to the clubhouse and then the flying can start again. To finish off our little clip, a few photos looking back at the repair work being done. Using also photos made by a different camera than the video camera. Here we have Andy again with his yak. Here we split the roof. The first half of the roof is fitted. One more aerial view of our lake and uh, boat's house and here part of the flying site. Now we are going to come in with our electric plane with the mounted video camera. And um, you can see me I'm on the left of the approached runway controlling my cup 221. The eagle has landed.